Artanis, Hierarch of the Twilight Council, Warlord of the Templar. I had expected so much more. Arrogance! Watch your words, or my blade will watch them for you. Oh, that's hardly a way to speak of one who saved your master's life. You care little for my survival, Alarak. What is the true reason you've come to me? Our god broke his ancient covenant and cast us low. These are lies, Artanis. I am the liar. Are you not but a lie incarnate machine? Prototh. Speak your peace, Alarak. The Taldarim's death fleet amasses its slain awaiting the start of a full-scale invasion. I come with an offer. You will aid me in invoking a challenge for the right to rule my kind as High Lord. And in return, I will grant you a cessation of hostilities between our people. Phoenix, rally my advisors. It appears we have much to discuss. Artanis, I believe I will serve you more effectively from here. Besides, I would rather Alarak remain where he can be watched. Hyrock, I believe I have found a way to save our people. As Zeratul foresaw, this keystone can indeed be our salvation. Explain yourself. As we have seen, the Keystone was designed to be found and assembled by those who would ascend to become Zelnaga. After leading them to Ulnar, it would also expel its stored energy to awaken the slumbering Zelnaga. The Keystone siphons energies and redistributes essence, matter, information, consciousness. To this device, they are all the same. I see that now. This is how it cleansed Kerrigan? It extracted the essence that forged her into the Queen of Blades. Then it used that energy to release Amon from the Void. If I can discover how to control the Keystone, we could use it to extract Amon from the Kala and save our people. Then Zeratul has led us to hope after all. Continue your research, Kerax. We have a war to take to Amon. You were right all along, Hierarch. I am little more than a clone of your friend, Phoenix. The Calderim speaks truth. I am synthetic, a replication. A lie. What did you find in the Archive? My death. My rebirth as a Dragoon. And then, my death at the hands of this Queen of Blades. I am not Phoenix, yet I hold his memories as if they were my own. I must have time to consider this. You are a warrior, Phoenix. Whether you identify yourself as my old friend or not, know that I believe in you. And I believe you will help me destroy Amon's armies and save our people. Do not waver because of this knowledge. I will try, Hierarch. Rohana, do you not see why you must sever your nerve cords? I cannot allow you to fall under Amon's sway again. The Kala was created in our darkest moment. Only its light was able to bind our people to give us unity. We are born into it, and when we die, our spirits become one with it. It is worth fighting for. And now Amon uses it against us. It sustains his existence. Its time must end. Artanis, through the Kala, our every thought and emotion are made as one. 
I feel his thoughts and emotions swirling like a vortex throughout. He does not realize it, but here, within the collar, he is vulnerable. How? Just as he can see into me, I can see into him. We can use this to our advantage, Hierarch. I know it. It is not worth it. Please, I only ask for time. Nothing was as it seemed. We came to Almar to awaken the Zelnaga and receive their aid. Instead, Amon nearly killed us. I fear Zeratul's prophecy is no longer clear to me. He was closer to the truth than I thought. The Zelnaga did rest here. Had they lived, I think they would have given us their aid, just as Zeratul said. If nothing else, I will grant him that. Matriarch, your words surprise me. Perhaps your counsel has proved influential in some regards. Then I will endeavor to give you more of it. I said some regards, Hierarch. Not all. Powerful psionic warriors have joined our ranks, Hierarch. You must choose a I am here in the shadows. I have returned. Alarak's vanguards have joined our cause. It seems our surprises have no end. You must know Amon will destroy you. If you have such faith in him, why are you here? Oh, I merely voice the inevitable. I know the true power of what you face. I said destroy you, not I. I have seen enough. His hubris will be his undoing. It is a flaw I also see in you. <laughs> uh, I believe I like you, Hierarch. Your bravery is commendable. Join me then. Together, we can defeat him. I cannot tether my fate to yours. Hatred does not burn within you as it does in me. You do not see through the agony of knowing all you believed in is a lie, and that your only solace is found in the destruction of your betrayer. No. Amon corrupted my people, and now turns them into a hybrid abomination. My rage burns brighter than a thousand suns, and soon all will see my wrath unleashed. Then this is something I hope to witness. Within Ulnar has been sealed, but a greater threat looms. Amon is transforming our people into a host form. While we were focused upon Ulnar, he has unleashed the full might of the Golden Armada, using our own weaponry to eradicate life from planets across the Capulu sector. Our current forces are not powerful enough to engage the Great Fleet. But Amon's other servants run rampant across the sector. Then we should strike immediately. Eliminate his outlying forces. The ancient purifiers were designed for war. If we reactivate them, we can build our armies and destroy Amon's Zerbrudes in one fell swoop. Assuming they do not turn on us first, the purifiers possess no loyalty, no honor. You waste time bickering. The Taldarim's death fleets are your threat. I alone can challenge Malash for the right to rule, 
and bend his army to my will. Do not forget Mobius Corps. They are rumored to operate from a hidden base where they forge a hybrid army to serve, even now. This is true, but we cannot engage them without knowing where they are. Vorazun, send your most elite Dark Templar to scour the sector. For now, Kerax, your focus must remain with the Keystone. The survival of our people depends on our actions in the days to come. It falls to the Firstborn to stop the coming Oblivion. The Zelnaga are dead. There is no salvation within Ulnar. And yet, we indeed found hope. If we are to fight, we must raise an army. Phoenix and I believe that we can awaken the ancient purifiers and call upon their power. They may have been a forbidden weapon, but I have seen their potential in Phoenix and know that this time, they will not fail us. Siding with Alarak is indeed a risk. Tassadar, old friend, what would you do? Zeratul, would you have me take such a chance? The answer matters little. If this alliance can weaken Amon's armies, then it is a chance that must be taken. if they are to be accepted. We are in orbit above a hostile world with an imposing fleet, and you speak of preparation? I intend to depose Malash, the ruler of an entire people, and bring them under my thrall. You will aid me, and in return, I will remove the Talgarim from this conflict. That was our bargain. To do this, the ritual must be carried out as tradition demands. This bargain grows less appealing by the moment. I wish to know more about this Rakshir, your ritual combat. To understand Rakshir, you must first understand the sacred chain of ascension that ultimately links to Amon. Each of us is shackled to his will, and to the will of he who is in the link above. And yet, there is a way to ascend. By blade and blood, any Taldarim can usurp the position of the one above his station. It is through this ritual that Amon's ascendants are assured to be the most capable to carry out his will. Then Malash is the most powerful of your people? He is considered so, but he has yet to face me. Hierarch, my scouts are tracking the movements of the Golden Armada. There are things I understand about the Taldarim. Their zeal, their desire to appease their god. What I cannot understand is why Amon would cast aside his loyal allies so easily. Why he would betray their sacred trust and treat them as fodder. I have felt his grand ambitions, Artemis. The dark truth is, Amon wishes no allies aside from his hybrid. He believes he's ending the cycle of violence but he only brings about an eternity of abomination. I've been analyzing the Tal'Darim's war machines. Their technology is cloned from Kalai designs. 
Aside from the construction materials, there is little deviation. How is this feat possible? There have always been legends of vessels that set out into the cosmos and never returned. Of attack forces gone missing. I have heard these stories. Whispers of angry spirits of our past that strike when you are most vulnerable. Imagine if all this time we have been fighting an unknown war against the Taldarim. It would explain a great deal. How sad. They are thieves, never knowing the joys of their own invention. How despicable. In order to invoke the challenge of Rakshir, preparations must be completed, as the decrees of old describe. Ready your warriors. Malash will surely attempt to interfere. These are Malash's guardians. I need you to eliminate them before I proceed. If it must be done. Wait, what is that strange fog? Tarazine. It flows in cycles from the chasms of slain, bringing us closer to the void. Amon's forces will be able to manifest until the flow subsides. They do not possess their full power here, yet they will strike at your base ruthlessly. I thought you promised an assured victory, Alarak. You enjoy a challenge, do you not? Very well. My forces will pursue the Guardians while it is clear. When the Terrazin flows, we must endure the onslaught. The Terrazine will rise shortly, my warriors. Be vigilant. Void rays can now be warped in at our Stargate. They are ideal for intercepting foes in the battle ahead. Well done, Faze Smith. We will make good use of them. Enough minerals. This warrior awakens. Lifting, Amon's forces will arrive soon. This warrior awakens. Channel the light of Ayo. Under cool and rock. Construct additional pylons. Calibrate void. We made the 
enemy in battle. And a cool rock. fight with honor, even when we are fighting for you. But first, we must establish our defenses. You have not enough minerals. 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 You I was able to scan the Taldarim motherships in this region. They are carrying shipments of Solarite. I don't think Alarak would mind if we liberated them. Prismatic Core Online. Systems at full. It could not a night. And a cool rock. It shall be done. Annihilation commences.
The fog gathers, Artanis. Make your preparations if you're so inclined. <laughs> You have not enough minerals. You have not enough minerals. You have not enough minerals. Channel the light of iron. Systems at full. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. Behold the strength of the Chosen! Eternally. Taldarim ships are heading towards our Nexus, Hierarch. Bring them down! Glory through person. We meet the enemy in battle. to the end. This shall not be our end, but a new beginning. Retribution awaits. So shall it be. We face the enemy. Prismatic core online. 
We face the enemy. 